Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan 3, uh, season 1, episode number 3 and 4. Okay, the previous two episodes, episode 1 and 2, it was my beginning of watching the Rupan the anime series. I've watched a few movies, but this is the first time I'm watching the anime. Uh, it was a good start. Um, I really liked the differences that the Rupan, like you know, the older Rupan that I'm watching now. I can like you know recognize the differences it has with the newer Rupan which I'm accustomed to you know most of the movies that I've watched movies and the TV specials I've watched are quite uh, newer than at least like you know the, the one that we are seeing now so I've been like you know able to kind of see a few differences one of the biggest differences is the voice actors another difference is the way the characters are actually written it actually kind of makes us realize how uh, the author uh, as time went on, she like you know he changed uh, the way the characters did stuff and their personalities and everything, and polished the characters as like you know time went on. Like and I can like you know we can clearly see the differences in the way the characters uh, be behave, act, and everything. Fujiko's uh, um, personality is completely different here. Rupan's as well, like you know, and all the other characters. Zenigata as well. So yeah, like it's it's really fascinating to see, you know, how like you know how a character has actually changed little by little as time went on, and uh, yeah, like it, it's it's great. So yeah, okay, the first two episodes it was a good start. Uh, the first episode was the whole racing thing where we see Rupan actually uh, <laughs> tricking the uh, you know the guy. I, I don't remember his name. I don't even remember if they mentioned his name or not. Uh, that guy and how he basically tricked all of them by the end of it uh, by using the you know replacement car thing that he did <laughs> and uh, yeah that was that was good Zenigata also came uh, by the end but unfortunately he wasn't able to catch Rupan because this is Rupan we're talking about and then episode two we made a new character Paikal who is pretty who was pretty formidable until and unless we did not know what his actual power was it seemed as if he's doing magic tricks but uh you know like has supernatural powers or something but by the end of it we understood that he's just a magician those were like all uh, illusions that he were doing and by the end rupan was able to defeat him uh but his body was not shown his dead body was not shown so i'm guessing he is probably still alive probably will meet him in the future as well so yeah so anyways um let's get started this is episode number three and four that i'll be reacting to in this video so first i'm going to start with episode three so without further ado let's get started um so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get this video started all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay Okay. <laughs> this this opening is quite catchy now. Like you know, if you hear it quite a few times, it's like a it's like a unique rhythm to it. <laughs> Even though, like you know, it's like one like in a word that he's repeating the person still this has like a catchy tune hmm All right. Okay, let's see what this episode is about. Hmm. What's happening? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, yeah, the gun. 
Well, obviously it's not a toy. Oh no. Um, what's happening? Oh no. What? Why didn't she shoot? That was random. What happened? Wait, did she just shoot because... Well... <laughs> oh no! Wait, she just goes away with the... <laughs> Wait, what was the point of that? Like... Linda... Wait, what? Yeah. She seems pretty capable enough to defend herself, you know? I'm talking about Linda. Oh. Oh. Is that Fujiko? Or was that... Oh my god, this... <laughs> This also blew up. Let's do again, okay. <laughs> How did he come here? <laughs> yeah. Um... Wait, she's gone. Jean also didn't see her. <laughs> okay. Farewell, my beloved witch. Saraba Itoshi no Itoshiki Majo. Nuclear fission, oh. Oh. Okay, like maybe she's underwater, that's why they're going underwater. Oh. Killers of the pirates, I'm guessing, kind of. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh. The other two, I'm sure Jigen will handle it. Or uh, never mind. Lupin himself can do that. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay, the harpoons are there. He's like... Okay.
All right, so like this is completely random. Like it's happening. Like the whole thing with Fujiko and then this. Uh. <laughs> Okay. True. Maybe they're keeping an eye on them. Oh, Linda smell or something? <laughs> I don't know. He said something about, you know, leaving the smell. Oh my God, I was correct. I was right. Oh, it's the smell of the... Okay, so she was wearing a perfume or something. Um... What? Is that a... <laughs> is she... Is he hallucinating or something? Oh no, never mind. The third son. Oh, the flower? What? <laughs> Random again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is happening? It's completely random. What's happening? <laughs> um Oh, what? Who's this guy? Whoa! This is explosive? Oh my god! Oh, that's why the third son is called. Oh, okay. All right, understand. Whoa, what's happening? What? Oh, he tried to steal the thing. Okay. Oh, that's why she had the smell coming off her. Linda has become a witch. So he, she's like a human bomb or something? Oh. Huh. <coughs> oh, Fujiko, what's she doing here? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh my god, they have a rocket launcher. Oh god. Oh no, it's crashing here. Oh my god. Okay, it's not crashing here, but... Okay, who was in the... Is Fujiko really in there? Oh! Okay, sh Okay, that is Fujiko. So where's Linda? Okay. Oh my god, so many of them. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Oh! Oh my god! He still wanted to... Okay. Alright, I think... Oh! This guy's... Oh, oh my god! Where's Jigen? What? What? Random hole in the ground? Oh, Jigen is here. Okay, I was thinking where he was. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was a trap made for him. Done. Ah! Something to ask. <laughs> Lupa Syndicate. Submarine. Why? <laughs> Straightforward as always. Oh? Oh, is, is that it? Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, he has been able to go up, run away from Zenigata all, all this time. So yeah, this is nothing for him. <laughs> I think this is Rupan, isn't it? It wouldn't surprise me if this is Rupan in disguise. He knocked him out inside, took his clothes, and I think I'm right. <laughs> I, as I said, I like you know, like I've been seeing him for quite a while. I can actually guess what he's going to do after what. <laughs> oh, run! <laughs> He should have kept that disguise, you know, up and unless and until she ran, he ran away. Whoa! Oh, it's again.
Oh, the professor is here. What happened to Fuchiko? Is that Fujiko? Oh no, okay. Oh wait, what? Is that the... Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's gonna blow the whole place! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! <laughs> no, you cannot put this fire out. Can't you see? It's suicide if you try to put this fire out. Wait, what will happen to Linda? Yeah, I forgot about that. Like, Linda actually needs this flower. Well, even if, oh, even if she comes with them, like, he wouldn't be able to, she wouldn't be able to survive. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah, like the flower was the, his, her lifeline, so. Oh, great. Oh, wait, how? Oh, yeah, that, that, that's still left. Hmm. Okay. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I think so. <coughs> yeah. Oh boy, here we go, he's here. <sighs> Laboratory. Wait, wait, who's that? Jigen or Fujiko? Fujiko. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. F What the? Um, I think she's planning something. Uh, I feel like something is going to go wrong.
Oh! <laughs> As I said, <laughs> I knew something was going to go wrong. She was planning something. <laughs> She's like, yeah, if, if he's unable to go, I'll also. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. SOS. <laughs> okay. Okay, is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was I that was a kind of a quite a what can i say like unusual episode in a way that um things were happening abruptly for example in the beginning um like i don't know what that was like rupan and fujiko was there and suddenly fujiko stands on top of the boat and shoots the uh boat in which uh, linda was in like i don't know what that was like what why did she shoot her they shoot the boat and the boat got destroyed Ru fujiko um maybe maybe she just wanted rupan's boat is, is that the reason why <laughs> is that the reason why she suddenly shot at the other boat because she knew rupan was going to go and save her and using that as an opportunity she was going to take rupan's boat and like you know get out of there or something was that her plan that was a roundabout plan i have to say if that was really the case but <laughs> i don't know what happened she suddenly shot her and then we get to meet linda and now like this episode had a lot of weird cuts like you know like, like something was happening and suddenly there was like a cut and this is another something completely different thing was happening like it, it was something like that but <clears throat> still it was like you know uh, like not difficult to understand what was happening it was fairly simple and um yeah, so um, we meet Linda here. Linda is the person who has been uh, a human experiment, a test subject uh, for the third sun, which is like a huge firepower for these guys who were experimenting on it uh, or like you know, mass producing it. And <clears throat> since Linda was experimented upon, uh, it had become uh, like, you know, something that her she needed the flower to stay alive which in itself <coughs> was the reason why in the end even if she tried to escape from that place she would have i guess died sooner or later you know because all the flowers are gone so how would be she like during that time when she was uh, underneath and the whole place was burning uh, rupan or if she tried to save herself and get on the plane you probably would have been able to survive but for how long like there was no left like the flowers were there's no flowers left and she needed the flower to sustain herself so yeah either way sooner or later she would have died so i guess um i guess the doctor kind of you know destroyed her his own um creation you can say in a way and he did not want her to die in the fire like you know slowly burn like a uh, death by burning in fire is very painful and so is like you know if she somehow gets out of that situation he would have died she would have died anyways in the future by not getting the flower so instead of that slow death i guess the doctor just shot her because he wanted her to go in a more peaceful manner you know like a bullet wound like if, if like that like you know like sometimes bullet wound also if if not if, if it does not kill you sudden like you know uh in one shot it hurts a lot so it, sometimes that also is a pretty uh bad way to go but i guess like burning to your death is better than burning to your death like you know it's like like you die uh like you know quickly unlike burning and i guess that was the reason why he shot her and also obviously as he said like <clears throat> like i like she, she, he said something like i wanted to release you from the this pain and suffering my own creation but yeah um 
okay so here um we meet the guy the main bad guy who who's ex not experimenting but who's mass producing these flowers and as i said this episode was kind of weird random had like you know some cuts which was kind of abrupt like you know like we see suddenly like you know they were like fighting in that underground uh, uh while after scuba diving like they get out of that situation i'm talking about jigen and rupan they're in a campfire and then you know the next day um they find linda and then suddenly Rupa starts running around the tree. <laughs> oh my god, like, that's what I'm saying, you know, like, in one scene they're like fighting to the death and the next scene Rupa is like running around like a little kid. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so that was that. And okay, now here's another thing. Um, Again, this thing I kind of, I, probably I'm unable to understand something. I'm probably missing something. Um, as we saw in the first uh, scene, uh, Fujio tries to uh, not kill, but you know, destroy the boat that Linda was on. And then in the next scene, we see Fujiko and Linda meeting, and Fujiko trying to smuggle out the third son. But unfortunately, she wasn't able to because uh, the other guy shot the, uh, you know, like blasted the airplane she was on, like. I, I don't know maybe my, maybe they like had a connection Linda and Fujiko that's why you know like I don't know like th this this is one thing that is actually confusing me about this episode like what was they what were the plan actual plan or like was uh, uh, Fujiko's plan to work together with Linda to get out of this place you taking those flowers was that it if that was really the case why did he shoot him in the uh, her in the beginning or or like you know not her but her boat but anyways um okay that and uh, then rupan gets <laughs> you know it falls into a random trap a hole and the guy tries to recruit Ru rupan in you know to help him and this taking talking something about rupan's syndicate now i'm guessing the syndicate probably means rupan jigen and fujiko like, like is that what the syndicate it uh, the syndicate is actually about you know because i've never heard anything about uh, lupan having a syndicate so it's probably that i'm not sure but he was saying something about like yeah like I, we need you to work for us all that stuff lupan was like nope i don't like you so yeah you can just go away <laughs> and lupan was like you know what do you know i'm i'm, I'm a master uh, i can run away from here as as, as soon as i want to I'm a master escapist and he's like ha 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 very funny and then the next scene we see <laughs> Rupan getting out of that place using a disguise like <laughs> like that was very um uh, what do you call it like I saw that coming from a miles ago like you know like they were like laughing and then there's this weird cut and we see the guy coming out and i was like okay like yeah he he already did what he was supposed to do he he probably knocked that guy out took his disguise and just went out of that now i do wonder <laughs> where did he get the disguise <laughs> like i know this is an anime we should not think much deep into these type of things but how did she get his disguise like you know like the the mask that he was wearing was he always always carrying that you know like because uh, was this what happened like after he saw that guy he was like you know what maybe this guy will trap me somewhere or someplace so let me just be ready be cautious let me just keep a disguise a mask of this guy and if if i somehow get trapped and i need to like you know use this disguise this will come in handy so maybe maybe that's why lupan already had that disguise with him <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me so <laughs> yeah um okay <clears throat> All right, and that was that and then um okay and then uh, as we see you know like uh with the those guys were attacking uh the professor all that stuff and then they were like you know trying harvesting all those flowers um now here's the thing here was the big uh con of this whole thing the flower was actually very dangerous the thing that rupan did is spread gasoline and just burned everything was something that could have easily happened any time 
so they, they needed actually more security they could have like you know just made some kind of a shelter or something uh some fireproof set shelter or something and i don't know like makes put some artificial lighting for the flowers to grow or they needed stuff like this not in the open under the sky they were just harvesting that like that like obviously like you know like what else do you expect you, you could just easily burn the whole place down so <laughs> yeah that was a mistake that they did but anyhow um the whole place like you know burnt down uh linda also like you know lost her her life and then the only thing uh, the professor d died and then the only thing that was left the only loose uh, string that was left is the submarine or whatever the, the missile and fujiko and rupan goes in there and rupan is like yeah i need to do this alone fujiko i'm sorry and fujiko's like yeah no matter you know like i'll forever remember you and i was like yeah something's going to go wrong <laughs> and yeah obviously it's like then Fujiko somehow snuck in. That's why the rocket wasn't able to, missile wasn't able to go much uh, distance. And yeah, they just crashed. And now they have to wait for someone to rescue them. So yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, that was something. So okay, um, that was episode number three. So let's get started with episode number four. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timing here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. And this is Jigen. Point three seven. That means he can shoot three bullets in one second. That's impressive. And this is Zenigata. All right, let's see what he does this episode. <clears throat> Shukri. What? What's happening? Is it like on a stealth mission or something? Is that why? But why Shukri? Okay. Three of them there. Easy enough, I guess. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> wow. I don't think they're napping. I think they're dead like that. Okay. What is this? Is that a... Is that a coffin or something? What is that? Oops. You got caught. Oh, Zenigata. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 those are track lenses. I was like, okay. Oh, they got it. Okay. Jigen and Fujiko got it. And there's Fujiko, I'm guessing. 
Oh no, I think Fujika's going to trick him somehow. Is Jigen with them? Okay. One chance for a prison break. That's Kokono a chance why it's it though. Alright. Okay, so Rupan got caught and he's in a prison now, I'm guessing. Oh there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm sure Jigen will try to help him out. <laughs> Look at the smug face. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Fujiko's here. Why did Rupan say that? Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> my god, I'm really getting thrown off of Fujiko's personality in this. Oh, because of that. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, what's happening? Oh, uh, <laughs> mind games, mind games. Wait, really? This is the one driving this car. Wait. No, there you go. Messing with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he has something in his mouth or something. Yeah. What? We get a suit. We get a suit or something. What? Um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that will be your mistake. He's actually letting him inside a prison. He can easily get out. I'm sure of it. Huh. Okay, let's see. Okay, no one is here. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, what? Mind games. <laughs> 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 
Wait, he said right. So Okay, no. <laughs> What's happening here? This is kind of tricky. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm saying that is. Okay. Okay, Fujiko's here. I'm sure they're actually um, ready. Yeah, there you go. No, no, that's Jigen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, he'll be like, he'll be like, maybe that's not Rupan actually. He's not doing anything. And maybe that'll be like a trick. Who is this guy? Oh my god, Fujiko's again trying to. It's him. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Half a what? <laughs> this is Rupa you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, that must mean. <laughs> yeah, this is Rupan. I'm quite sure of it. He's playing him completely. Like. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy has a car now. <laughs> Wait, what? Jam. Jigen has. Oh, that's a cute butterfly. Damn, Rupan looks good with the beard. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's like, yeah, when will he uh, try to escape? Wow, this guy, what, what's he even doing? Like, he's upgrading his stuff. So is Fujiko. <laughs> Jigen, like, stop. Don't do it. Let, let him peacefully get out the way he wants to. Patience. <laughs> it's 
Lady Gaga has been waiting for him to escape. He's going to call Jigen and he'll be like, Jigen, come take your friend. No, obviously not. Wait. Okay. Oh. Wait, who's this guy? A priest or something? Wow. Oh. Oh, that's why he's... Yeah. Yeah, what is he planning? Okay. Twenty minutes. No. Oh. <laughs> Give me a cigarette. Damn. It's watch it fast. Like what? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, that's what he was. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. No, that's too sharp. Oh, wrong timing. Oh god. Oh my god, he's going to
<laughs> oh my god, Zenigata will be so happy. He'll be like, yes, finally. <laughs> He's like, yes, finally. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is the whole the boy cried wolf thing that he did. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh my god, that's why he was doing this for so long. Oh no. Like obviously they won't believe him now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Run. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oops. What? Ah! <laughs> well, that's good. You know, Zenigata went uh, to actually save the person. Uh, you know, like instead of going uh, chasing Rupan, that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so where's the key and where's Fujiko? Okay. Wait, what? Oh yeah, she thinks he's dead. Uh Um don't throw that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Oh that's why. Oh that's why he was okay. Wow, good, okay. Oh my god, that was great. Oh no, okay, I, I thought they were going to crash or something. Wait. Oh no. Oh my god. They were too late. Oh god. There goes the treasure. Quick, grab them and run! <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, if Fujiwa thinks that he's dead, so I guess. <laughs> Look at the run into the sunset. <laughs> okay, that's it. Oh my god. Okay, I have to say. This is really one of the best episodes. Um, even though this is the fourth episode. I love this episode. This was had so many things going on. 
and it made you constantly kind of think like what is happening what is he actually planning to do just like uh, zenigata was also thinking you know we also had to think that is he trying to run away or is he what is he actually trying to do like <clears throat> it was very simple his plan was very simple actually there were a few things that rupan wanted to de do here number one he wanted to humiliate zenigata that's why he actually waited for a complete year to run away that's number one number two was he was actually setting up the stage every day he used to scream like oh i'm not rupan i'm not rupan that guy's rupan you are rupan he, he used to do this and this actually was kind of like a psychological um trick that he played on each and every one of them every day he used to scream this thing and it became like a whole like you know the boy who cried wolf thing while in the story in the boy who cried wolf story that thing was something that actually brought disaster to the boy but here it actually helped rupan that was his plan he wanted to like you know he overplayed that acting so much that after like you know some time zenigata and uh, all the other officers whenever they used to hear rupan saying that oh i'm not rupan they were like ah he's like you know, up to his old tricks again don't listen to him this became the thing and that's what he was actually planning for he was actually planning for them to actually not listen to him when he used to scream that yeah i'm not rupan so that after one year when he would actually run away that would come in handy because whoever will be like you know disguised as rupan he he would scream that yeah i'm not rupan and but zenigata and all the other police officers they'll think that oh he's up to his old tricks again just don't listen to him like that was like the biggest like big brain brain plan that he played here and that was another reason why he waited so long another reason why he waited was to um i'm guessing uh sharpen his nail but that obviously did not need a year so like that that a little bit of time was needed probably one or two months to do that so but still it a, a little bit of time was needed to actually sharpen his nail that was another thing like and like these were the things these were the reason why he actually waited for so long like the biggest goal for was uh, for him was to humiliate zenigata and like you know like this was the whole plan and that was fantastic i i love the way he actually did it and like the patience that he had like one year he had to patiently wait to completely <clears throat> trick zenigata and just you know escape in that way <clears throat> so okay now here in this episode here um as zupan said he was humiliated by the fact that like he was tricked and shot and since those were tranquilizer bullet he did not die but that was like the biggest um humiliation that zenigata put him through <clears throat> and like that was the thing that actually bothered him all the time and that's why he wanted to for zenigata to feel the same thing and he did all of this and uh, okay and that was that and then um like at the beginning when we saw fujiko kind of like you know trying to again as i said fujiko's personality is very different from the way we have actually seen her in the uh <clears throat> in the newer episodes or in the newer movies the way she is there and the way she is here is a lot of different um there are a few things that are kind of similar for example in the beginning when she was like don't worry rupan i'm definitely going to save you i was like what is she saying is this fujiko or is this an imposter like i <laughs> i was like what's happening and then like you know like then we see that oh that was actually not the full reason the full reason was that she wanted the key and that's why she was kind of saying like that but that the, that does not negate the fact that she actually was concerned about him in some way or the other <clears throat> which obviously in the newer episodes or in the newer movies Fujiko never showed that outside like <clears throat> the mask that she wears in the up, like you know in the future episodes becomes something that is very uh, difficult to distinguish from her actual face like uh, the only uh, um, episode in the newer episodes where she actually shows her uh, true feelings is um that episode um the one with uh, Fujiko Mina's lie you know the whole thing with the little kid and uh, the guy I, I forgot the guy's name uh i forgot his name the guy who you know like 
used to f throw ash or dust with her, his mouth I, I forgot his his name the one who fujiko killed <clears throat> like that was the episode where we actually get like you know to see her actual face what her actual feelings is about the whole situation otherwise it's very difficult to paint, paint it fujiko's mask uh unlike the older episodes where we kind of get to see how she feels now and then like <clears throat> even in this episode in the end when she was actually grieving for rupan that that is like i'm guessing her actual feelings and you know the way she said that oh like it was not the treasure that i wanted it was the the time we spent uh, running away and like you know like the excitement that we used to uh, you know uh, feel together when we were like doing these type of dangerous situations these things these things were the ones that I adored. That that whole thing, like, like that's like her. I'm guessing her real feelings or something, which is pretty, you know, like surprising to see here, since we are not actually accustomed to her acting this way from the uh, newer uh, newer episodes or the newer movies. But like, yeah, like, uh, like somewhere, like I, I, I always felt that somewhere down there, she, she had some. A little bit of a soft spot for Rupan, and she really did care about him one way or the other. It's just that she never showed that to every, anyone. <clears throat> and Rupan also enjoyed that, you know, like as Rupan said, that I enjoy the, um, you know, the the thing that we do, the where you betray me, and <laughs> you know, I I try to overcome that all that thing that that type of thing that we do, the little banter that we do, I enjoy that. So yeah, anyways, um, uh, so yeah, like, uh, that was the whole thing with Fujiko here, and <clears throat> Zen, like, Jigen, I have to say, like, Jigen had the utmost, uh, what do you call it, faith in Rupan, which really shows how much, um, trust both of them have towards each other. Jigen, up until the end, Jigen was like, I'm sure Rupan will somehow get out. Don't you worry, he'll handle it. And uh, just keep patience, unless and until almost at the end, on the day of the execution, was the only day when he decided to go and check out what is actually happening. Before that, he had the utmost um, confidence, the utmost respect for him, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm sure he'll come out some way or the other." <clears throat> and that's 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 immense. Like you know, that's like that's like the what can I say? Um, that really shows their bond. Like Jigen and uh, Rupan's bond, and <clears throat> yeah. Now the thing with Zenigata. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like <laughs> this episode really shows Zenigata as like a Sundre character. Like I feel like this whole episode was actually showing us that. At the beginning, he was like, "Oh." I <laughs> I caught Rupan, yeah, like, we're going to execute him, this would be so good, and then, like, you know, in his dreams, he's, like, seeing stuff like Rupan is going to get executed, and he gets bothered by that, <laughs> and then as time goes on, he's like, okay, Rupan will definitely, like, you know, try to escape, Rupan will definitely try to escape, he waits, 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 and, <laughs> like, by the end of it, he's like, why is he not escaping, like, what's happening? Like, and then he starts feeling sad and like anyone who says that, oh, like even Rupan gave up. He's like, no, Rupan is not like that. I'm sure he'll, he'll escape. Like, <laughs> like, this is the ultimate example of a Sundre. Like, what? <laughs> and he, <laughs> in the end, when he gets to know that Rupan has finally escaped, he's like, oh, finally, I'm like, you know, like, yes, like, I, I get my time to shine. And he like jumps around, tries to go. To the cell and he finds out that Rupan is all has not escaped and he's like what? Like I thought he escaped, but that in in itself was a trick, and uh, the thing that Rupan was actually uh, you know preparing for all this time you know like kind of telling lies saying that oh I'm not Rupan so this time when he the guy actually was not Rupan. <laughs> You know, um, no one believed him. Like, as I said, this is like a boy who cried wolf. The only difference here is that the boy who cried wolf here actually <laughs> tricked, you know, the someone else to become the boy. Like, you know, like Rupan was the boy who cried wolf. But in the end, he put on someone else's disguise and, <laughs> like, you know, interchanged his, his position with that person. So now the person who cried wolf is the person who never cried wolf who's innocent 
and nobody believes him now like <laughs> that's what happened and <laughs> my god but in the end you know like this is like one little slip up that rupan did here he was like oh the gas chambers yeah and <laughs> And Sengata's like, wait a minute, we don't have a gas chamber here. And then they caught him. Like that was like this one little slip up that he did. And <clears throat> now the thing here is, um, I like you know, it's also like you know, like like I have to say, like this is something that uh, uh, uh deserves respect for is when he realizes that the person who is in the um electric chair chamber is someone who is innocent who's going to die probably if he like you know gets shocked with that he immediately like doesn't even look at rupan and decides to go there and help him out like <clears throat> this is one thing that i have utmost respect for because sometimes you know whenever like you are so passionate about something beat whatever you know like here zenigas is passionate about rupan so whenever th something like this happens usually in these type of situations which actually taste your moral um you know like your moral qualities um people slip up because of their obsession they sometimes forget what to actually do what correct thing should you do now and sometimes slip up and you know like because of their obsession they they choose the wrong option which zenigata did not do here which which is why I, i'm saying like i have the utmost respect for that because i i thought at least that he would actually try to capture rupan here but he did not he he went back he was like yeah he's going to die let me just go back and just left rupan away like didn't even think twice like there was no no hesitation even in his uh, face like you know like he didn't even hesitate leaving rupan there and going back he, he as soon as he realized that that guy is going to get killed he just turned around and went there and like that's something that i have utmost respect for as i said like obsession is a bad thing so like you know it is good like you know obsession is good at sometimes at, at like you know at certain levels but immense obsession is usually kind of becomes a bad thing as it goes on as people forget everything and just like you know chases that obsession uh which is kind of what zenigata does but i'm glad to see that that obsession did not cloud his judgment in the end he took the wrong right choice and you know like go went there to save the guy instead of chasing lupan like that's something that i have great respect for and yeah that was just good this was a fantastic episode i love this uh probably the best episode like as i said like <laughs> it's been four episodes i'm watching this so yeah like out of these four episodes this is probably my favorite like this is so good so well done <clears throat> and in the end we see uh which go kind of throwing away the walter and she's like you know like as we as i said like you know she said that yeah like it was not the treasure that i wanted but the time that we spent all that stuff and you know like she's she's like you know uh, crying and like not crying but she's like feeling bad about that and everything kind of mourning his uh, rupan's loss while on the other side rupan and <laughs> jigan are running away like two little kids <laughs> into the sunset <laughs> my god and they also lost the treasure like wow like all gone <laughs> but yeah that was that was a fantastic episode i loved that so yeah that was it guys that was my reaction to episode number four of um uh lupin uh the third season one so okay i think uh, in the previous episode like uh someone said that there's there'll be one weird episode within these two episodes and one episode will be really good and I can easily, like, you know, differentiate between that. The weird episode was the previous one, the one with Linda. Uh, you know, as I said, it, it felt a little bit weird sometimes, like, with its unusual cuts and everything. And, you know, there was a few um, sections which doesn't even make sense. At least I did. I, was, I wasn't I was able to make sense of. Uh, but, you know, it, it was kind of weird and everything, but it was still, like, a good, good episode. While this episode was purely amazing. This was just fantastic. I love this. Uh, which is episode four so yeah so that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to episode number three and four of rupan third season one so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say uh anything you want to let me know other stuff and i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of rupan the third season one 
Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.